I want to know how you prepare to play this role. Wolverine is a, he's very tough. He's got a tough exterior and a lot going on inside. But when you look at him, he seems like a very cool guy. He's very muscular and strong, so I have to go to the gym. Uh, yeah, and I train tell me, tell me. Well, I go, I start at least four months before. I'm fairly health conscious mm. myself. I do always train. But I had to go four months before and really train a lot and eat a lot. I didn't realize eat that a lot. so much food. I mean, like a sumo wrestler. I was eating <laughs> nonstop. And, and not fun stuff either, by the way. Not, uh. not beer and pizza and... Just steamed chicken, steamed fish, steamed vegetables, steamed rice. Lots steamed of uh, protein. Lots of protein mm -hmm. all the time. So, uh, and never stop eating. I never got hungry. The moment I just had digested food, more came in. That's the hardest thing, actually, so physically. So what, did you gain weight? Oh, yeah. I probably put on 30 pounds of muscle. Probably. For this? Yeah. And uh, then I do have a few little rituals. I take a cold shower every morning when I play this role because I hate cold showers, right? But you know when you stand in a freezing cold shower, first thing in the morning, it really gets you angry. It's kind of like, ah. And so I do that every morning as a little reminder because that's what it feels like to play that character. Inside is just like, he's like a tight coil ready to, ready to spring. Mm, well, in this film, there's a lot of action stuff, you know. Were you ever in any accident at all? I'm a very clumsy, person. Like, <laughs> you are? There's more footage of me tripping over, <laughs> bumping into things, and here I am with these nine inch claws. Literally by the end of the film, my legs look like pin cushions because I just keep hitting myself with these claws. X战警 Brad Ratner. 中国观众对他并不陌生，让成龙在好莱坞名声大振的尖峰时刻就是他的作品。What is it like working with Hugh Jackman? I love Hugh Jackman. Jack, Hugh is one of the greatest actors I've ever worked with because he's smart, he's disciplined, and he's also the, one of the nicest guys. He's so down to earth, he's so real, he's not pretentious, he works hard, he cares about the movie, and uh, he's just the greatest guy. This guy was behind me 100% the whole time. Mm. And it made me, it, it empowered me, it made me feel confident, it made me feel strong. Because he was there saying, Brett, you're doing a great job, I believe in you, and we, we had a great experience together. Mm.看了之前的节目,是否对荧幕内外中那个刚毅,果敢的金刚狼,有了更深一步的了解呢? He's an amazing man. When I said to him I wanted to be an actor, I was a little, I was a little nervous about it because, you know, for an accountant, you know, uh, the whole world of acting is very unsafe. Mm, right? I know. And he, right off the bat, said, I think that's a wonderful thing for you to do. But if you're going to do acting, you learn it. You learn the craft like mm. you learn anything, like you're going to be an engineer, like you're going to be a lawyer. Mm. You learn how to do it, and you do it properly. My father was all about education. Mm. But acting was really not your first choice. You graduated in journalism. Yes. Yeah. But then how did acting come into I, I did journalism. Acting was a hobby for me. I mean, I was doing acting since I was this big, five. Mm. I mean, not professional. Uh, but when I was five, I was doing it at school, right through high school, even at university. And while I was at university, I used to make a living by doing clowning at kids' parties, um, which okay. was the hardest work I've ever done as an actor. I, I, I graduated, and it was time to go and get a job as a journalist. When you start as a journalist, the jobs are terrible. Mm. The jobs, you have to go yeah. and knock on doors of yeah. people who've just, you know, the parents of a kid has just died and get an interview with this. And I just thought, oh, I don't know if I can stomach it. I didn't even know if I could get a job. I thought, oh, while I'm thinking about it, I'll just go and do some more acting because I just loved it. And then one thing led to another. 演技一流的Hugh Jackman歌喉也不逊色,这让他成了音乐剧舞台上的常客. 2004年,他凭着在The Boy from Oz里的出色表现,一举拿下百老汇演出的最高荣誉托尼奖. It's very different. I grew up watching the theatre. I grew up dreaming as an actor of the theatre. 
that was that was, that's where my dreams were. I mean, when I went to a movie set, it was quite foreign to me, uh, yeah. and it took me a little while to adjust to it. When you're on stage, however, I won't forget a second of that night for the rest of my life. You know, was uh, the boy from Oz? The connection I had with that audience mm. carried me every night. The energy that audience gave me at times, you felt like you lifted up off the stage and you're just flying. It's, it's, it's an extraordinary experience.